Greetings, Kathy Harding in the Seville newsroom on a rainy start of the week with uh, Brendan Fitzgerald. Brendan has been uh, very busy with an exclusive interview with a much sought after um, subject. Tell us a little bit about who you spoke to last week. Uh, sure. Well, I met up with VQR editor uh, Ted Genoise at his home, and we talked a bit about uh, not only what the last couple months since the death of his colleague uh, Kevin Morrissey have been like for him, but also really a lot of concerns facing um, the VQR and a lot of the ambitions it developed um, in the months and in some cases years before Kevin's death. This is the first time um, since that July 30 suicide that you've been referring to that um, Ted has, uh, Ted Genoise has spoken to the, the press. Um, what do you think uh, accounts for his willingness to talk now? Well, um, you know, up to this point, um, there's been, uh, I'd say, pretty conscientious response among all VQR staff members, current staff members, about uh, to what degree they feel they're able to speak on the record. Um, they've cited the same sort of confidentiality over personnel situations that UVA cited in a lot of their responses. But I think that after a few months of watching um, you know, his own uh, characterization or description in a lot of reports, um, Ted perhaps felt as if he had um, maybe a, a good idea as to things he could speak to um, on the record. That characterization, of course, you're referring to him being charged as a workplace bully and uh, having uh, a role um, in the tragic choice that his longtime colleague made to end his own life. Mm -hmm. uh, Brendan's got a great story. You're going to want to read that here on the website or pick up a copy of Seville. And also, we'll have uh, links um, to, to our previous coverage. Um, we, of course, broke this story um, back in July, and uh, we're back to it again. So uh, check that out. Good work, Brendan. I'm Kathy. Here's Brendan next week.